there hasn't been such a violent eruption since Krakatoa um, over 100 years ago. So offshore New Zealand, we have at least 30 major volcanoes. So by looking at Hunga, which was such a devastating and violent eruption, um, what we're trying to do is to see it as to why this volcano blew up so violently. We believe that this eruption was due to sort of, uh, it was a gas driven eruption, some sort of carapace of minerals that sealed off inside the volcano. As you might imagine, the, the pressure just built and built and built and boom, up it goes. If that's true, then what it means is that these volcanoes are far more dangerous than we previously thought. So it's really important for us to try and discern the mechanisms and the why this went bang. And that will help us, of course, in terms of being more resilient for these sorts of eruptions in the future. There's a number of surveys that we're going to do during the course of this, this research cruise. We're going to remap the seafloor, that's to see if there's any sort of new volcanic activity. We're going to measure gravity and magnetics over the whole edifice, and this tells us about density and tells us about rock type. We may be able to sort of image where the magma chamber um, is. We'll also be doing seismic surveys, so we can look at the inner workings or the architecture of this volcano. We'll also be doing dredging. Dredging can recover rocks, which tells us about the evolution of this edifice and how it sort of grew with time. And finally, we'll be looking at um, some water column surveys. So they're distinctly about determining whether we have hydrothermal activity on the seafloor and or if we've got um, volcanic activity on the seafloor. So to do all the surveys we're going to do is going to be pretty exciting.